Hi, my name is Patrick Desjardins. In this episode, you will learn how to parse a string into a number without messing up. Parsing is the action of taking a variable's type into another type. JavaScript has basic functions to parse from their minimal runtime type into another. In this episode, we will focus to convert a string into a number. The reason we are targeting string to a number is that it is one of the most conversion used since most serialization will have data from a string representation and in many situations when a number is expected to convert. We glanced in the previous episode about numbers bases that parse int converts a string variable to a number. Parse int is a function that has been present since the inception of ECMAScript with version 1. We also saw in this video that all kinds of numbers are under the same umbrella of number, regardless of the type. The premise was how simple numbers are handled with a single type regardless of the length, the sign, or if the number has decimal or not. Well, JavaScript is often illogical to some extent. And when parsing a string to a number, we must specify if we want to parse a string into a number without a decimal or with decimal. That is right. We need to think about what we expect because JavaScript, hence TypeScript, has parse int and parse float. Parse float was also introduced with the first version of ECMAScript. Before digging into parse float, let's just highlight that parse int as a second optional parameter with a radix that allows us to specify the base. If we recall, the parse end was using the first parameter to be the string to convert and then the base. For example, parse end 11, 16 would be 17. With parse float function, we indicate that we will have a decimal value from a string. The function does not take a base and offers a single parameter. The parameter is a string. For example, parse float 11.22 returns 11.22. You may wonder what would happen if you have floating point in a string and use parse int. In that case, everything after the period is ignored. The reason is, during the process of parsing with the function parse int, there's a step where there's a conversion with int 32 that trim all the decimal. Negative numbers are well handled by both functions. For example, we can write parse in minus 11, 16 and receive minus 17. Similarly, with a negative floating number. For example, we can write parse float minus 100 and have minus 100. So far, all the example provided contained a bad number. However, in the real world, user input might be of the wrong format. For example, parse in test cannot be parsed. So what is the return value of such a non number? It is the value NAN, NAN. TypeScript and JavaScript rely on NAN for not a number as a value. Parse and tests return NAN and parse flow tests return NAN. You can get a more detail about NAN in a future episode. Consider liking this video if you would like to get more information about NAN. Lastly, the primitive number has also an object type number. While is it not recommended to rely on the object, the constructor of the number returns a number when not used with new. For example, number 123 return 123. And the following number tests return nan. And third line new number 123 return an object. We will see about the object number in a future episode. So please subscribe to get in your YouTube feed future videos. So here we are again. We are at a fork where you need to make a decision. Would you like to learn about NAN or the object number? Regardless of your choice, it is a good one because it is your choice. See you soon.